all praise to the Most High Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Welcome, brothers and sisters. Honor and respect to the chosen and the grafted. Today is uh, September the 28th, 2020, and it's currently 6.51 p.m. And um, we are about to study this good book right here. Um, the Spanish Inquisition. I have many books. And... Um, creation of the Spanish Inquisition we are I believe we will begin in, in chapter I, I think this is chapter 15 or so to speak uh, which I I consider in the beginning you know just like Isaiah said uh, here a little there a little precept upon precept so uh, let's take second Timothy second team Timothy 2 15 study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the words of truth so since we're on the truth we have to study and if you want to study only 80 books that's fine with me that's uh that's your thing 66 books that's your thing all the books again that's your things okay so um me myself i read all sort of books okay from the book of lamech of cain a hundred years of lynching oh when i used to be in the music industry alva nunez cabeza de vaca one of those uh, spanish um conquistador uh the polygma of jean adwin uh I think stamp from the beginning uh the memoir of the conquistador bernard diaz del castillo the gospel of mary magdalene even the grand grimoire of solomon that deal with demons i read a lot so um today we're going to touch on this book a little and uh if we have time we'll go on the others if most i you know permit so uh i read a lot so you should too you know and you gotta be diligent you gotta study since you are in the truth okay so now second peter 1 10 second peter 1 10 wherefore the rather brethren give diligence okay to make your calling an election sure for if ye do these things ye shall never fall if we if we study if we be diligent if we make uh, our calling will be sure and if we do that we shall never stumble we shall never um uh uh well drink the drug of the cup which we're not going to drink again let's look at this word diligent diligence diligence noun careful and persistent work or effort similar consistentiousness assiduity rigor so you have to consistently study the scriptures study other books watching videos listen to people whether they are wrong whether they are right you never know you won't believe what people are saying once you start making sense of them you know you, you you'll see what's going on so you got to give diligence you know to make your calling an election sure okay again people the Mosai himself have to call you to do this work you can't just jump and then trying to go ahead and teach or the, do whatever the hell you want to do a lot of those so-called priests on Mahan, the pastors, the priests, you know, let's pull a picture of those dudes. You know what? The funny thing when you type priest, oh, okay, you know what? I um, okay, let's finish the the the, the precept, all right? And this is doctrine 88 uh verse 118, the second state. And as how and as all have not faith 
seek ye diligently and teach one another words of wisdom. Yea, seek ye out of the best books words of wisdom. Seek learning even by study and also by faith. So we have to study diligently and by faith. Let the Holy Spirit, that's what, that's what it means. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Okay, that's why I never really have any notes prepared unless if I have to. So I didn't have any notes. So I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, you know, I'm going to go through this book. I haven't read it yet. I read a small portion about it where they have a Israelite woman and she, uh, they were forcing her to eat pork. And um, they were accusing her of being a, a, a pagan because she did not eat pork. She did not work on Saturday. She didn't do none of these things. So we'll see if we can search that and then we will begin with this. But, and like I was saying, the funny thing when you go to google images and you try priesthood of mahan so you find this the the brother brother ayil and um brother the beloved brother big judah and uh, that's pretty much it that's uh there's another dude um another brother okay I, I'm, I'm trying to get this uh master mahan this dude i'm trying to see if this dude was saying something but i can't find a video you know every time i'm trying to see if um i can find a video about this dude uh, uh explaining master mahan which is you know cain and later his descendant lamech so you know i can't i can't find it there we go. Over in the book of Second uh, Peter, we go. <laughs> chapter All 1, right. verse 10 and 11, is a passage of Scripture with which you're familiar, I'm sure. All right, let, let me play that again. Peter says, wherefore, over in the book of Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 10 and 11, is a passage of Scripture with which you're familiar, I'm sure. And Peter says, wherefore, the rather brethren, Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. For an entrance shall be ministered to you abundantly into the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Make your calling. People. I did not plan this. This is my first time watching this video. This dude is pulling straight out of 2 Peter 1.10. You know, like I said, even in the beginning of the video, the most I have to call you. They didn't call this dude. Okay. And um, let me just uh, pause this. Let's see. 659. Pause this. So I could come back instantly. Okay. All right. This dude, he's pulling straight from 2 Peter 1.10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. And this dude take this as if he is going to go into heaven. Let, let's listen to him again. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10 and 11 is a passage of scripture with which you're familiar, I'm sure. Peter says, Wherefore the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. For an entrance shall be ministered to you abundantly into the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Make your calling and election sure. If you do these things, you'll never fall. And an abundant entrance shall be given to you into the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Here's my subject today. Our calling and election. And what is the scriptural doctrine of election? What is election? Well, Charles Haddon Spurgeon, who pastored the Metropolitan Tabernacle in London, England for many, many years, back in 
1850 to 1890. This is what he said about election. He said the whole of the work, the entire work, whereby a lost, ruined sinner is brought from death to life is the work of our Lord, our sovereign Lord. The whole of the work whereby a fallen son of Adam Okay, pay attention what he says. A, f a fallen son of Adam. <laughs> a fallen. All right. Let's see which, who's that fallen son. We don't know yet. Let, let, let's listen. Man, I might I might go ahead and not. I'm going to go ahead and profile this video instead of doing that lesson. All right. Let's, let's listen. He's lifted from the dunghill. He lifts the the beggar from the dunghill and sets him among princes. You remember Isaiah saying that? He lifts the beggar from the dunghill and sets him among the princes, the rulers. Well, that whole work whereby a fallen son of Adam is lifted from the dunghill of sin and depravity, washed, cleansed, made holy, and seated at the right hand of God is the work of our sovereign Lord. And of him only. Spurgeon continued, he said, Election simply declares that salvation is of the Lord. From Alpha to Omega. From beginning to end. From first to last. Salvation is of the Lord. You got them right it is. First of all, this dude's name is Henry Mahan. Okay, so that's a dead giveaway. And when you talk about the falling son of Adam, okay, as we know, Adam has two sons in the beginning, you know, one of them fall. It depends. You mean fall as in die or fall as in becoming the, the, the devil himself. As John said, your father was the devil. There is no truth in you. Because Adam has two fallen sons, one of them fall to the dark side of the force, and the other one fall to the uh, light side of the force, the bright side of the force. Cain was the fallen one, the true fallen one. Abel did not fall. Cain killed, murder, not killed, murder, because there's a big difference between kill and murder, okay? Cain, Cain, murdered his brother Abel. So Cain is the fallen one. That's what it was. Anytime they say the fallen, okay, boy, I'm glad that I fall into that dude's video. I don't know why I could not find that. Okay, um, fallen. Anytime they say fallen, oh, I didn't put, well, here we go. You already see the angels and stuff like that. You know, um, oh, is that Denzel Washington? And, and anyway, fallen. Anytime they say fallen son, okay, they are talking about the quote unquote, the previous, uh, the Rephaim, the Nephilim, the fallen angels, the watchers, okay? So he said uh, that, that dude, whoever quoted this, he said some dude in the 1800, one of the Mahan quoted Dung this. Hill. Okay. He lifts the the beggar from the dunghill and sets him among princes. You remember, I, this is what he said about election. election. Okay. He said the whole of the work, the entire work, whereby a lost, ruined sinner is brought from death to life. Okay, that's not, he, 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 he trying to make it, he trying to make it like it's Yahawashah, he's talking about Yahawashah, but he uh, truly, He's talking about Master Mahan, Ken himself. Dude, dude, his name is Mahan. Uh, let me see the comment. One of my favorite preacher. Praise God. Wonderful sermon. Whatever, man. Is the work of our Lord, our sovereign Lord. Sovereign Lord. Ken. Master Mahan himself. Mahan. The whole of the work whereby a fallen son of Adam. A fallen son of Adam. All right. Let's see uh, if we can Google that. A fallen son of Adam. 
Uh, you would think it's able. Okay, this is Cain, you know, killing Abel. Uh, okay, this is Cain killing Abel. You know, Abel did not fall, man. Cain did. Cain did. This dude is talking about Cain, Mahan. All right. Is lifted from the dunghill. He lifts the the beggar from the dunghill and sets him among princes. You remember Isaiah saying he's talking about Satan lifted uh, um uh uh Cain and then made him princes because you know Cain did what Satan wanted him to do. That he lifts the beggar from the dunghill and sets him among the princes, the rulers. Well, that whole work whereby a fallen son of Adam is lifted from the dunghill of sin and depravity, washed, cleansed, made holy, and seated at the right hand of God nah. is the work of our sovereign Lord. You see, uh, our sovereign Lord, it's, he's not talking about Yahweh or Yahweh. Those dudes, when they, when, when they wrote their little coding things that's what they do okay so anyway man we're going to stop here let me see boy i said i was going to, it's been 16 minutes i was going to study this book but um man uh the holy spirit just brought that to my attention you know um i don't know what i was going to do but this pop-up will put it in there but let's let's read a little uh let's see Let's search for the word pork, I believe, or pig. Okay. This is onions gonna refry in oil and meat cook with oil and they use the meat instead of pork and fat and avoid the pork. I believe that's the one. I believe that's the 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 Okay. Uh ch -ch 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 okay um they did not eat pork except by force all right let me let me see if i can begin i, I can start in one of the beginning of this chapter okay all right let's begin right here uh thus this heresy was born as you have heard in the first years of the reign of the very catholic and christian kings ferdinand and the queen isabel this heresy was so bold that his learned men were on the verge of preaching the law of moses hmm. and it is simple men who could not disguise the fact that they were jews all right we already know who those men were when the king and queen went to seville for the first time the archbishop of Seville, Pedro Gonzalez de Mendoza, was there as well. And Friar Al Alonso de Hojeda. What? Wait, Alon D. Alonso? Wait, let me see. Let me see if this is the the the, the um okay if if this is the Ojeda that I know. Okay. Alonso the it is oh my freaking god this dude he that's the dude that killed uh, the the beloved queen anakauna okay he's the dude that killed um um uh our beloved queen okay ojeda alan so ojeda um kill anakauna or uh, Anacona. Oh, massacre the Indian. Let me see. While others were shot, Anacona was executed by hanging. She was 29 years old. Her husband, Kauna, about six foot of having gone as an attack on La Vida. Yes! 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 Okay, she was 29 years old. Her husband, Kaunabo, suspected of having organized the attack on La Navidad, Spanish settlement in the northern Haiti, was captured by Alonso de Ojeda and shipped to Spain, to Spain died in a shipwreck during the journey. Yes, yes, yes. Kaun, um, he, 
Alonzo de, Oje, de, de Ojeda, this scumbag, was the one who murdered our queen. He was the one who murdered our people. You know, he was the one. He And he was there. You see this? He was there with the king and queens. With the king and queen. Went to Seville for the first time. The archbishop, the priest of Mahan of Seville, Pedro Gonzalez de Mendoza, was there. And was there as well. And Friar Alonso de Ojeda. Okay, this dude, what is a friar? A friar, it, it also, the, the, man. Okay, a friar. A member of any of a certain religious order of men. Especially the four, excuse me, the four mendicant orders. Augustinian. Carmelites, Dominicans, and Franciscan minds. Okay, all right. They were um uh, uh, they were a member of the priesthood of Mahan. Okay, all those dudes. Okay, that's how that's how they they dress. Ojeda, Alonso de Ojeda, oh, got a coon right here. Alonso de Ojeda was the one who murdered our queen and killed the beloved king. You know, I learned from him in, in, in school, but everything was in French and, you know, backward. So, um, this dude, he was there with the king and the queen and the archbishop, all right? Of Seville, Pedro Gonzalez de Menzo, that was as well, and the friar, Alonso de Ojeda, okay? A holy and Catholic Dominican from the monastery of san pablo so again the word dominican it just means the whole highland is it, it, that there's no such thing as a dominican you know um san pablo who always preached and fought against the her this heresy was there too he and other religious and catholic men told the king and queen about the great evil and heresy and seville they in turn committed the matter of the archbishop so that he could punish the guilty and remedy the matter. He issued certain orders about it and promulgated them in the city and the, and the entire archbishop, archbishopric and put deputies in place. And two years passed, and his measures were worthless. According to what we saw at that time, this horrible beast walked around very freely. And the heel faded heretical Jews. Remember, the beloved brother uh, of Judah went in, into this heretical Jews. You see how he, 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 um, they, he described us? According to what we saw at that time, this horrible beast walked around very freely and the hill faded heretical Jews. Heretic person. All right. Oh, there we go. Heretic. Let's put heretical. Okay. Believing and practicing religious heresy. So, um, he, w w the, the quote unquote, the Israelites back then were, were con considering uh, uh, heretics because they did not want to follow, you know, what the priests of Mahan, you know, were uh, uh, um, telling them to do. Okay, heretical Jews from fled from a Christological doctrine, second Christian custom. Those who could avoid baptism, baptizing their children, did so. And those who did baptize them, washed them in their house as soon as they brought them home. You also have to know that before the Inquisition arrived, the custom of ordinary conversos, which were the Jews, were the, like, like the people that convert, were the same as the same stinking Jews. Which was why they continually talked to each other, thus they were gluttons and comrades, and they never stopped the Jewish, again, again, Israelites' custom of eating little dishes and stews cooked overnight with cold, because they weren't supposed to um, cook in, um, you know, on the Sabbath, little dishes of onions and garlic fried with oil and meat cooked with oil. And they used that meat instead of pork because they weren't allowed to eat, you know, the pork, the Levitical law. And fat, 
In order to avoid the pork, the oil with the meat and the other things that they stood smell very bad. That's a lie. On the breath of the houses and doors smell very bad from that food. This dude is just slandering our people. <laughs> this dude just slingering the hell of all people. Thus, they themselves had the smell of the Jews on account of the food they ate. They did not eat pork except by force. They secretly ate meat during Catholic feasts, days, virgils, and the four amber weeks. They observed Passover, bingo, and Saturdays as best they could. They sent oil to the synagogues for the lamps. They had Jews who preached to them in the houses in secret, especially to the women. They had Jewish rabbi, oh good Lord, who strangled sheep and birds for their gathering. They ate unleavened bread during the three days feast of the Jews and secretly performed all the Jewish ceremonies as best they could the men as well as the women they always avoid receiving the sacraments of the holy church see even during jacob's trouble our people were still doing the same thing they rejected the sacraments of the holy church which was the priest of mahan the church of mahan the, Ab the abominable church the catholic church and and the harlots they reject the mark of the beast. They reject the 666. They reject the Antichrist. They always avoid receiving the sacraments. So let's look at the word sacraments. Okay, boy. Oops. Well, it should be um, singular. Sacrament. All right. Whoop. Sacrament. Here we go. Sacrament. Noun. Oops noun in the christian church a religious ceremony or ritual regarded as imparting divine grace such as baptism the eucharist and the woman catholic and many orthodox churches penance and the anointment of the sick anyway this is just such as a mumbo jumbo they didn't want to accept this the mark of the beast Okay, they didn't want to accept the Antichrist, 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 whatever you want to call it. Okay, even when our people were in Jacob's trouble, this is like when the Jacob's trouble world, you know, beginning, you know. This dude, he, he's just, he just like, he's just slandering our people to, to, to the majesty. He's just telling them, oh, those people are this, those people are that, you smell, they don't want to eat pork. They don't want to go to church. They don't want to receive that. They don't want to receive that. How many? Oh, how many minutes? Twenty-seven. All right. Churches constitution. They never confess the truth. They did not believe that God rewarded virginity and chastity. Their whole aim was to increase and multiply because the Lord told them to do that. Okay. At the time that this erectical depravity arose many monasteries founded by gentiles and merchants were violated and many professed nuns were corrupt and mocked some of them by gift other by trickery and the conversos the the jews the israelites did it to injure jesus christ in the church because they did this to injure, to injure Caesar Borgia and the abominable church. Most of them were use, usurers. Okay. <laughs> Usury. Okay. Man, this dude is just slanding the people, man. And um, let's see that word. Usury. Oh, here we go. There's usury in the Bible. There's a, 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 um, a law against that. Usury. The illegal action of practice of lending money at unreasonable high rates of interest. You know, banking. Uh, anything like that. Uh, tax. Tax collection. Usury. So, usury in the Bible. There's a, um, uh, there's a law in the Bible. Okay. That say you should not practice usury. And I think it's Exodus 22nd. 25 to 27 let's see if we can pick that up right quick exodus exodus exod exodus 22nd 22 um 25 to 27 
Okay, there's a law against that. Okay. Exodus 22, 25. If thou lend money to any of my people, that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as a an usurer, neither shall thou lay lay upon him usury. Alright, verse 26. If thou at all take thy neighbor's raiment to pledge, thou shalt deliver unto him by the sun goeth down. Verse 27. For that is covering only, it is his raiment for his skin, wherein shall he sleep, it shall come to pass. When he cried unto me that I will hear him, for I am gracious. So uh, the Lord say, Amen. If you if you are if you are doing money lend not money laundering, money lending, if you are lending people money or any of my people, that, that is small. Okay, you cannot use the, be, become a user like you. You give that person a hundred dollars. You you lend that person a hundred dollars, and by sundown he's supposed to give you two hundred dollars. Okay, this is usury right there. This is this was against the law. So th what this dude is doing right here, he 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 just slander the people, trying to make the people look bad in the eyes of the king and queen, so he can elevate himself. Okay, um, many professed nuns were co-opted and mocked some of them by gift, others by trickery, and the converser did this to endure Jesus Christ in the church. Most of them were usurers who had many artful ways and tricks because they all supported themselves from leisure sort of work and buying and selling. They had no con conscience, conscience where Christians were concerned. They never wanted to take jobs. Man, this is that's a Republican talking right there. Man, they never wanted to take jobs that involved plowing or digging or walking through the field guarding flocks. Nor did they teach their children, rather, they took work in a town which involved sitting down and eating something to eat. Um, next page, eating something to eat with little effort. D technically, this dude, he. he you know what he did now? This is called gaslighting. This dude, he, he, what he's describing, he took the good part, he put it on himself, and the lazy part, he called our people lazy. That's why he's like, oh, they don't want to work. Those people are slaves, man. Oh, they don't want to work. Um, they, 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 they want a job. They want to sit in, in town and eat and don't do nothing. They are lazy, a bunch of lazy ducks without the D but the F, you know. The king and queen were assured of all the above when they were in Seville. So, and the queen, the king and queen, they believed them. When they left that city, they gave the job of seeking out and punishing the guilty to the vicar general of Seville. So they were upset. So they wanted those, those, those Israelites to be punished a hell of a lot more. Who was the bishop of Cadiz, Pedro Fernandez de Solis and Diego de Merlo, who was the chief officer of justice who remained in Seville at that time? And Friar Alfonso, man, I hate that mofo, man. Imitating Friar Vincent Ferrer remained as well to look into the matter as long with other clerics and friars. And seeing that the situation could not be tolerated or fixed in any other way except by inquisition, they clearly and distinctly proclaimed the matter and details to their highnesses and made them understand how, where and by whom these Jewish ceremonies were performed and how powerful people and much, and much of the cities were involved. The king and queen were simultaneously informed that this monstrous this monstrous, monstrous, mm, monstrous, this monstrous affliction run through all the Castile. They obtain a bull from Pope Sixtus IV they, to proceed against this heresy and to punish it with fire. The Papa bull was conceived and the Inquisition ordered in 1480. You see what this dude did? Alfonso de Ojeda. Before they um they reach uh, 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 our land in 1492, he we had uh, our people over there in the third part also. 
okay our people were doing well so this dude he slender our people man he slender them he slender them to, to to the core and then he made so much lie he made the king and queen and then the pope signing the the papal bull was conceived and the inquisition order in 1482 how they began to say is burn and reconcile Jewish heretics and savior and the great pestilence of 1481 so it began in the third part over there okay so that's what this dude this dude did man I I, I never knew this fellow was um uh Alonzo uh the the Ojeda man I this I hate that guy man we hate this dude in uh in the island man oh man this guy He's a bastard. You see, they show him like he's like a soldier, but in fact, he was a flyer. He was a, a member of the, the the priest of Mahan. Okay, he was a flyer. Okay, he was a flyer, but they he was some dude like this, but he came in as a soldier and murdering and kill our people, man. Okay. You know, he came into the island and go over there, Cuba and all over scum man all right we'll stop right here we'll stop right here and then we'll pick it up you know anytime we could so uh chapter 44 man we were chapter 44 Jeez. oh okay yeah 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 because we we search for that all right chapter 44 that's just a little so all right folks do your own research and uh again we are studying and things like that things will get clear to us you know, I had no point um, of doing this. Boy, it's already 36. All right. So um, I'll see you folks in the next lesson. So the Papa Bull. Let, let's, let's pick that up right quick. Okay. Papa, oh, man, you should, you should. Okay, the Papa Bull. Okay, Papa Bull. Uh, Papa Bull is a type of public decree, letters, patent, or charter issued by Pope, by a Pope and the Catholic Church, the priesthood of Mahan, the abominable church. It is named after the lead seal, Bula, that was traditionally appended in the hand of an order to authenticate it. So, the, 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 the priest, this is prophecy right here, the Catholic Church okay the papa bull was conceived this monstrous affliction run through all the castile all of castile they obtained a bull from the from pope sixtus four to proceed against this heresy and to punish it with fire the papa bull was conceived in the inquisition order in 1480 so the pope was the one the church of mahan was the one who ordered this just like it's it stated in uh, um and uh first nephi uh first nephi 13 let's see if we can get that and close with that oops book of mormon first nephi uh verse 13 i believe verse is it 13 okay first Nephi. huh first nephi verse 13 okay and verse 13 and it came to pass that i beheld the spirit of god that it went through the gentile and they went forth out captivity upon so many waters no i think verse 20 and i beheld the power of god against hmm. no and let's uh, uh here we go and it came to pass that I beheld this great and abominable church, and I saw the devil, that he was the founder of it. Okay, okay, let's, uh, okay, verse 3. Okay, verse 3, uh, 1 Nephi 3, it's beginning at 3, the whole chapter 13. Okay, and they said unto me, These are the nation and kingdom of the Gentile. And it came to pass, and I saw among the nation of the Gentile the formation of a great church. Okay, the great church that signed the Papa Bull. Okay, um, 
And the angel said unto me, Behold, the formation of a church which is most abominable above all churches, which slayeth the saints of God, yea, and tortureth them, and bindeth them down, and yoketh them with the yoke of iron, and bring them them and bring death and bringeth them down into captivity. And it came to pass I beheld this great and abominable church, and I saw the devil Cain, that he was the founder of it. Mahan, Master Mahan, and also so gold and silver and silks and scarlets and fine twine linen and all manner of precious clothing and saw many harlots, the Protestants, the baptism, uh, 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 Islam and all the uh, uh, Lutheran and all the uh, Buddhism religions. And the angel spake unto me saying, Behold, the gold and the silver and the silks and the scarlets and the fine twine linen are the precious clothing and the harlots and the desire of this great and abominable church and also for the praise of the world they destroy the saint of god and bring them down into captivity the catholic church it began with the priest of mahan cain found in this all right we're going to stop here today and then we'll pick it up uh, later on probably later on all praise to the mosai yahweh by hashem mashiach yahweh shai by hashem amen Shalom.